Good morning everyone. Today we will complete Unit 3 Flow Irrigation and Lift Irrigation. Well irrigation, as you can see in the picture below, it is a type of irrigation in which the fields of farmer are irrigated by using the well. Wells can be of two types. One is a one man duct well, another type of well is there which is run by electricity. Comparison with canal irrigation. In well irrigation, crops may be irrigated using water drawn from well, which is then directed to the crops through channels, pipes, or by large vessels directly to the plants. This can be time consuming and tiring for the agricultural laborers. But in irrigation, using canals from the water source is more convenient as it does away with having to draw or pump water from well and other such storage tanks. The types of well. There are four types of wells. The first one is trainer tube well. In this type of well, an aqua aquifer exists in the length of the well where a strainer pipe is placed. This is possibly only in the alluvial tract. Here I have shown a picture of strainer tube well. The cavity tube well. This tube well harness only one aquifer. It has small depth and has blind casing resting on a hard layer. Such wells are possible only in the alluvial region. Slot tube well. Sometimes the nature of subsoil formation is not anticipated correctly. Obviously, borehole driven for constructing strainer well will be a failure. If a hard formation is present, cavity well may be resorted to. But if neither of the conditions are existing, the slotted tube well can be rightly constructed. There should be, of course, an aquifer present at the bottom. Artesian well. Artesian conditions exist in certain regions like foothill region of Himalayas, where the groundwater table is at a higher elevation. Groundwater comes out in the form of a fountain that flows out of the well by artesian pressure. Construction of tube wells. The tube wells can be driven, jetted, and drilled. Drilled tube wells. Drilled wells are constructed by making boreholes by using different drilling methods. Tube well construction involves drilling the borehole, installing the casing and well screen, and developing the well to ensure sand-free operation at maximum yield. The different drilling techniques are hand auger drilling, percussion drilling, sludge drilling, Rotary drilling, water injection drilling, rotary percussion drilling. Driven tube wells, it consists of a pipe and a well point which are forced into the water bearing formation by driving with a drop hammer. They develop small yields and the construction is limited to shallow depths and soft unconsolidated formations free from boulders and other obstructions. Jetted tube wells, it is constructed using hand-operated equipment or power-driven machines, depending upon the type of formation and the size and the depth of the well. The water is pumped into the well through a pipe of a small diameter. Jetted tube wells have small yields and their construction is possible only in unconsolidated formation. That was all for today. Thank you.